Hello boys and girls. Last week we spoke about ponds and pond life. What ponds look like, what creatures is in the pond, and all the different bugs and animals that is found near and inside a pond. Today we will learn about the different types of ponds. We will also be discussing the life cycle of a frog. Now we're going to start with the different types of ponds. There are two different types of ponds. The first one, it is a natural pond. This is a pond that forms on its own. This is when there is a hole in the ground and it's filled with water coming from the sky. Rainwater. This water will fill the pond and after some time, water plants will grow in this water. And when this happens, birds and bugs will be attracted. And when that happens, other animals will also come to the water and start to live there. All these natural ponds can be found in forests near farms that have beautiful trees. Now, teacher will tell you about the second type of pond we will find. And this pond is called a man-made pond. A man-made pond is a pond a person builds. This means a person will dig a hole in the ground, use material like cement. When the cement is dry, they will fill it with water. Or they will add other items like they will buy plants and fish. A lot of people like to buy the koi fish to swim around in the pond because it makes the pond look very pretty. These fish will grow nice and big and ponds that have fish in them is called fish ponds. And these uh, ponds will be found near homes or in public places like the gardens. Now teacher will be talking about the life cycle of a frog. Last week we spoke a little about the frogs. Who remembers what is a life cycle? A life cycle is something that explains the life of an animal or a plant from the beginning to the end. The life cycle of a frog starts when the eggs are laid under the water. Now these eggs are called the frog spawn. The frog spawn then grows into tadpoles and from a tadpole it grows into a polywog. This is just another word for a tadpole with legs. First, the back legs will grow out and after a while, the front legs will grow. The tails will start getting shorter. This is when they are called young frogs. And when their tails are completely gone, this is when they become adult frogs. The common toad, which is a frog, that you will find in most ponds can live up to 12 years. Wow, that is many, many years. This is all for this week. Uh, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Stay tuned for next week's theme. And that will be a very exciting theme. That will be my pet. Remember, stay safe. Wash your hands, wear your mask, and don't forget to wash your hands regularly. Bye, boys and girls.